first thought of a daft proverb. You can take a horse to water, but a pencil must be lead. Get it? Pencil? Lead? Never mind. Just a quick reminder now about the Ark, starting next Wednesday. But he certainly enjoys himself on the Pink Windmill Show. Here he comes right now. And now, from Emu's World, somewhere in the heart of England, comes... Emu's Pink Windmill Show! Lovely here, isn't it, any of you? Well, now it's time to play our super game. The, it's quiet. Our super game, Emu Spin Quiz. And what we do here... It, stop it, we're doing it properly today. What we do here, as you know, is phone up somebody at home, ask them a question. If they get it right, we'll spin the wheel for them. And if it lands on these numbers, they can win some super prizes, prizes like this. Look at that lot over there. And what about that teddy bear, eh, Evie? That's going to be very nice. And, of course, if we spin the wheel and it lands on any of the four sails, then you've got our star prize. Star prize, star prize! And if you're lucky this week, you could win this fabulous computer. <gasps> fabulous computer! Yeah. 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 Oh, it's lovely. And here to help me this week is Tammy. Come on, Tam. Yeah. Where's she yeah. It's good, isn't it? Pull out some letters. Is that a nice letter? It's a nice letter, yes. And we have pulled out uh, a nice letter from Stuart Cross, who lives in Cardiff. And Stuart sent us this lovely drawing. Look at that drawing of me and Amy. I look ever so nice, didn't I? Don't do it. Don't, don't tear it. That's for Stuart. Thank you very much, Stuart. Would you like to phone him up? We are now going to phone up Cardiff over there in Welsh Wales and speak to Stuart and ask him a question. I hope he gets it right, because then we can spin the wheel. Ain't... Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> ever since we have had that man in here the other week, I couldn't understand a word he was saying, could you? No. Are you, no? Are you there? Oh, you are there, yes. You've got a very nice hat on today, Tammy. <laughs> Listen with bated breath just to see if it's going to ring. It's ringing. At least the lions aren't down in the snow. It's making a funny noise, isn't it? Hello, Stuart's on the phone. Stuart's on the phone. Hello, Stuart. Is that Hello. Stuart? It isn't Stuart. Hello. Is it Stuart there? Yes. Hello, Stuart. This is Rod and Emil. We're calling you from the Pink Windmill. All right? Yeah. And we're going to ask you a question now. You're aged nine. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Is uh, that your dad talking there as well? Yes. 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 Well, tell him to clear off. Yeah. No, it's all right, Dad, you can watch. Because uh, we're going to ask you a question, though. Right? We've got a nice um, nine-year-old question. Oh, Who was Black Beauty? Who was Black Beauty? Horse. A horse! Yay! Yeah! Yeah! Number nine, but I'm sure number nine is a very good prize. You just missed out on the computer, Stuart. Stuart's won a test match game. You won a test yeah. match game. All right. Is that it, Daryl? Wow, that's great, isn't it, Stuart? That's for you, and we'll be sending it off to you right now. Okay? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you, Daryl. Daryl's bye just bye. gone over. Bye bye, Stuart. Isn't that lovely? He's gone over to the Pink Windmill Post Office to send it off to you right now, Stuart. And if you want to play our Pink Windmill sp Spin Quiz game, all you do is to do what Stuart did. That's to send us in a, a drawing or a photograph or a painting or a poem or whatever you like. Send it in to this address. Emu's Pink Windmill Show. Central Independent Television. Lenton Lane, Nottingham, NG7, 2NA. 
Well, that was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Here. There's somebody at the door. Oh, there's somebody at the door. Nowhere is safe for you now, Buster. Nowhere in Emu's world. Yeah. Because I can get out and about on my hover grot. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Are you going to give up that, that Emu quietly? Or do I have to resort to a magic spell out of my new magic spell book? Hey? You, you got a new book of magic spells? Yes, I have. What, what have you got that for? She got it for 25p a month and no deposit. It was advertised in which magazine? Oh, was it? Oh. Yes, that's right. Don't tell him that. Oh. Right, well, come on then. Where's my book? Where is it? With Mrs. Grot bags, your industrial dishwash. I haven't got it. Well, Redford was carrying them. Oh, 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 what's that? Oh, thank goodness we've touched down. Oh, I can't stand it on that, that flying carpet sweeper of yours. Oh, me gyroscopics have got vertigo and me right leg's got jet lag. Oh. Give me one of my books, you walking baked bean tin. Come along. Oh, go on, go on, insult me. Yes, after what I've suffered. Now, let me see. It's got to be in here. So oh, here it is. Page 76. Getting hay emu. <laughs> Oh, yes. <coughs> Zazeb! Zazeb! <laughs> there you are. That emu is now mine. <laughs> it hasn't worked. Oh, you see, well, that's because... What do you mean it hasn't worked? Look. This is a rotten book, isn't it? I'm going to send it back and get my no deposit returned. Oh, excuse me, your royal bookmark. Um, that's because you've got the wrong book. Well, that's not your book of new spells. That's how to undo your magic spells. So it is. You've given me the wrong book. You've given me the book of answers, you stupid clockwork dustbin. Well, I wasn't and no, was I? I've told you I am not myself when I've been riding on that hover grot. Oh, oh, I think I should have to go and lie down. Oh. Aha, now you just wait this time. Page 76. Uh, ex excuse me, Mrs. Grot Bags. Um, What's the matter? You can't do that spell now because all the brats know how to undo it. All you've got to say is, Zazib, Zazib. Don't tell them that. Oh. Mind you, with a bit of luck, the brats didn't hear anything. <laughs> you didn't hear that, brats, did you? Yeah! You did? Yeah! Oh, spit! You rotten, yucky brats! Right. I shall just have to find one that you lot don't know the answer of, see? Oh, I've got plenty in here. I'll do the first one that I come to. Here it is. Ah, misty, murky, dreary day. Make the world all drab and grey. Buzzers! <laughs> there you are. Now, 
When you all leave the pink windmill, it's going to be horrible. There's going to be no colour anywhere. It's going to be just like living in a black and white movie. <laughs> and it serves you right! Come on! Oh, yeah, clear off, Harry. Here. I'll make sure that they're gonna go. Sound off, one, two, sound off, three, four, bring it on down, bring it on down, one, two, three, four, one, two. Some fun here, aren't we? Here, here we are. We've got some pictures, some pictures on our special pink link. That means we're getting news from Australia about another school over there. And as you know, Trina, who's a pink windmill kid, is over there sending this report from Australia. Oh, look, there's some pretty. Can you hear us, Trina? Are you there? Yes, Rob. Here we are at Davidson Park Primary School in St. Ives. Standing next to me, I have Mr. Dodds and a few of the pupils from the school. Well, Mr. Dodds, how many children do you have at this school? We have 165 children. Yes, and what is their aim range? Age ranges? Five to twelve. I see. Over there I saw a few plants or something. What are they? Well, these are Australian gum trees and we're using these for koala food for Taronga Park Zoo. In seven years' time, when they grow, we're going to cut the leaves down and use them for koalas to eat. Well, that's very interesting. And what's that I hear about a nature trail or something down the back? Well, we've had a busy year making a nature trail and we use it for our schoolwork. Uh, all subjects we use it down there for. Some things they use just for making, finding different colours in nature. I noticed one of the children had a colour chart or something on. Right, well, that colour chart there that we've we're using is all the colours that we found in the nature area. We've just put it onto the chart and so found all the colours of the rainbow. Well, that's very interesting. Uh, you children learnt something in class, or, I don't know, a call or something. Kookaburra call. All right. You're going to do it for us? Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. Over to you, Rod. Oh, thank you. 
Wasn't that? That makes you feel all homesick, doesn't it? When you hear that, that's the call of the kookaburra, which is a funny bird that lives out in the bush. In fact, it lives all over Aussie, and it makes that noise every night, just as you're going you're gonna to get asleep, doesn't it? Anyway, so there you are. That's that's a, another school, a different kind of school, a school that deals in, in obviously, in nature and in the outback. And, and if you've got a school like that, not what the one that deals in the outback, but you've got a school that is obviously interested in uh, natural life and wildlife, you don't have to grow leaves to feed koalas, but it would be nice. Uh, if you've got a little school, because it was only a little school, 165 pupils, and their ages range between 5 and 12, if you would like your school twinned with that one out in Australia, so as you can write to them and they can write to you and you can send each other projects and things, then why not drop us a line here? But first of all, if you think that's, that's what you're going to do, have a chat with all your classmates and your teacher as well, and if you do decide, then as I say, send us a line here at the Pink Windmill. We'll be giving you the address later on. But that's right on the other side of the world, and now we're going to go to a different part of EU's world. It's that part where time has stood still for centuries and it's run by my old ancestor, King Boggle, in Boggle's Kingdom. While Boggle and his men are off on a hunt for treasure, Whimsical Castle has been left unguarded, just what the evil Captain Squint intended. Now, watch on. Ah! Guess what I thought, me lad? Not a guard in sight! <laughs> Tis all ours. Uh, ours for the picking. Uh, uh, take what you will, lad. Uh, Away! Uh, 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 ah, to our protector. Uh, the one who takes care of all our poor sea uh, 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 To Narini, goddess of the sea. Narini! Uh, and now, lads, tis... Have a c- If that's that stupid brother of mine and his loony guards playing sailors and dancing the hornpipe, oh, he'll dance to a different tune in a minute. And all the dead bachelors. Come on, he's oh, 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 to the treasury. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Now we've got to go uh, 15 paces north. Yes, that's that way. Oh, oh, oh uh, begging your pardon, sir, I know. That, that's south. North is that way. Well, it has to be, sir. It must be because you see... Well, well, you see that bird up there? Well, that's flying west, you see. How do you know it's flying west? Well, uh, because... Uh, well, all birds fly west this time of year, sir. Well, he might not be. He might be going home to his wife to tell her to go that way. And that's north. Get Godwin, because he's got the thing. Oh. <clears throat> oh, oh, look, sir, just like what I said. It's pointing that way. That's north. Because <laughs> he's holding it wrong, isn't he? Look, he's got... There you are, you see? North, that way. <laughs> Come on, follow me, we're going to get the treasure. One, two... <laughs> oh, half a litre go. That Prince Paul, he hadn't kept me doing 25 odd jobs around his palace that I've been back before now. Just how good King Boggle hasn't done anything stupid with that Captain Squint. Ah. Oh, a... oh. Stay where you are, you, you peasants! Guards! Guards! Come and arrest these men! Well, shipmates, looks like we have a little stowaway. Oh. Ah. Grab her! Ah. Be done with the rest. You too, I must return the key to the treasury. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and one last drink, eh? Ah, to Narini, goddess of the sea, for our good fortune, eh, yeah. 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 To Narini! Narini! Yeah. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Yeah. get this stuff aboard. I said a long boat, let's get back to the ship. Come on, ah. Uh. That's it. I'm 
too late. Or am I? They've got to row back through that narrow waterway if I could get there before them. Yes, I just might do it. Sealed off our escape. Ah! Oh, quickly, get this stuff ashore. We'll build a stockade. Ah! 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 Oh, what now? Only I knew where King Boggle and the guards were. Without help and Princess Hortensia locked in Whimsical Castle and the pirates getting ready to fight, what will John do? Be watching next week. Come into our audience and have a look around because we seem to be full out with cubs. And it's, everybody's got all nice, smart uniforms. Yours is a bit different. I can see yours, yes. <laughs> yeah, I can see mine. <laughs> yes, I can see. Uh, uh, what's yours? Can you yeah. s stand up? Let's have a look at you. So, there. Oh, isn't that. Like, why is it different? Because <laughs> I'm a scout. Because you're, oh, you're a scout. Yeah. Oh, I see. And, you've got, and you're an air scout. Yeah. What does that mean? You go flying? <laughs> Not all the time. Not all the time, but it I is to do. But, who's talking to you, eh? Who said that? Oh, you. Come over here, then, because I can't see you. Yeah? Yeah. What did you say? When he gets hit in the face, he goes flying. When he gets hit in the face, he goes flying. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's very good. Show him all your badges. Oh, isn't that... And you're going to get one for jokes now. Like, now stop it! <laughs> stop it! Hey, I know what we do. Why don't we go over and look at the Pink Windmill Post Office? Yeah! And we've had loads of paintings and drawings since last week's show. And amongst them were Amanda, Pauline Brown, Gareth Marklew, Kristen Young, Michael Garner. And Christopher Brown, Simon Thomas, Richard Clover, Holly Wagner and Christopher Davis. Yes, we only opened the post office last week, but the mail's been pouring in in sack loads. And amongst the drawings and paintings, we've had some really nice letters as well, haven't we, Deb? Yeah, that's quite right. Oh, put it back on again, quickly. How dare you? Thank you very much. Yes, letters like this. This is a lovely mask from um, Kelly White, age six, from Stockport. And um, it's a nose that comes off and, and her hat and everything. I think it's really good. Thanks very much. And like this lovely design for a new suit of clothes for Rod. And it was sent in by Andrew Laughlin from Merseyside. And uh, a lot of thought's been put into this, as you can see, because there's a pink windmill scarf for Rod to wear there. And a bright yellow hat and bright yellow shoes. And he's even done earmuffs as well. Thanks a lot. That's lovely. And look, Joe, here's a good one. This one is from Ben Wright of Wilshire, who writes, Dear Rod, great to have your show back. I thought Ian, you might like this cabbage leaf. Well, you see, it's really good, actually, because he wrapped it up in cellophane to keep it fresh and everything. So, Ian, you would like to come try a bit? A cabbage, a real cabbage leaf. <laughs> a real cabbage leaf. Oh, <laughs> oh, he likes that. Thank you very much for that, Ben. And, and, and that as well. Yeah. Thank you. And you can't have it. It's very nice. Thank you. <laughs> very, oh, this is love. Actually, oh, God. Give us a Carry on. <laughs> Actually, Ben's mum's written on the bottom of the letter. Yes, it's great to see you all back. Isn't that nice? Yeah, we've had so many letters saying welcome back. Thank you very much. And uh, here's a lovely card from Suzanne Heron, and she's aged eight from Essex. And uh, she sent us this. Look, you can just about see Emu's beak peeking out there. And when you open it up, look, it pops out. There you are. And it says, To Rod and Emu, lots of love from Suzanne. Thanks very much. 
and uh, you and all the people whose letters we read out on the post office will be receiving a pink Wimble t-shirt like this. And finally, we have this letter from sisters, from Sarah and Nikki Crump of Pebworth near Eversham. And they write, Dear Rod Nemu, would you like to come to our fire station to meet our dad? He and all the other firemen are part-time. We've just been given the lovely new fire engine, our first. I hope you can come and visit us. Mm, thanks, Nikki and Sarah. That's just the kind of letter we wanted to receive. And who could resist a new fire engine? Certainly not Rod and Emu. Here's what happened. Well, this is Nikki and Sarah Crump, and behind us you can see the fabulous new fire engine, which you're so proud of, aren't you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Guys, speak up. Yeah. Because they've invited us down here, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> yes, down here, so as we can see their nice new fire engine and actually see it in action, can't we? Yeah. Here. What was that? Rubbish fire, call on. And don't forget to mark your envelopes, post office, spin quiz or twin schools. Here's the address. Emu's Pink Windmill Show, Central Independent Television, Lenton Lane, Nottingham, NG7 2NA. <laughs> Magic spell is working. <laughs> oh, there's no colour anywhere. <laughs> oh, oh, no, but I'm all black and blue. Oh. And, and they can't change it back. Oh, no, because I am the only one who's got the answer. Wait a minute. Where's my other book? Have you oh, got it? But you're Imperial Encyclopedia. I haven't got it. Oh, you know, Redford's got it. Oh, oh, oh. Where's my other book? The one with the answers in it. Oh, I left that. Back at the pink windmill. <gasps> you did what? Oh, oh, don't. Oh, I think I'm going to faint. Oh, oh no. Now, all those brats down at that pink windmill will be looking for my book. Quick, crook. Do something quickly! Oh, I know, I know. Beam me up three brats. Yes. We'll get our own back. We'll throw them into the grotto. <laughs> yeah. 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 That one! That one! And let's look. There's another one. We'll have that one too. There we are. Now we'll get them. We'll put them into the grotto again. <laughs> Come on, let's see if they've arrived. Oh, I say, Mike and 
for this week is Campbell. He's a very short-sighted back, but he does his best. Oh, my hostess! Looking as lovely as ever, Croc. Now, what's your name? James. James. How old are you, James? Ten. Ten. And where are you from? Beeston. Beeston. You had to look then? Yes. <laughs> Who are you? Adrian. Adrian. And how old are you? Ten. Ten. Yes. Where are you from? Yorkshire. Yorkshire. And you're just ten? Yes. Yes? <laughs> Name? Rebecca. Pardon? Rebecca. Rebecca. And how old are you? Ten. Ten. Rebecca's ten! Ooh. Now, oh, have we got something exciting for you? <laughs> oh, we've got a game. Explain, Redford! Oh, I thought you'd never get there. <laughs> yes, well, it's a very simple game this week, but rather nice, because what you've got there is a little jigsaw puzzle, you see, and it's a picture of me and their mother, too. Oh. And all you've got to do is put it together, and the first one to get the jigsaw together is the winner. Jigsaw puzzle! Get ready. Get your hands on your jigsaw. Don't you dare start yet. Hands because off. we have hands a... Off. Hands off. We have a special hooter, and Croc is going to start our game. Three... Two, one, start! Well done! Yes, they were. The, the, he won by nose, actually. My nose. He got it in first. So there we have the winner. And may we say, well done to our other two little horrors. Yes. A, a Croc's got a nice little consolation Wait prize for you. Consolation prizes! <laughs> That's nice. Croc, there we are. give the brats their consolation prizes. That's That's nice. May we say thank you very much for joining us. And I hope the T-shirts don't fit. That's you, over here. Come on. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Before you go, have you got my books? Are you sure? Yeah. It's this one then. Where's my oh, book? Oh, come along. Where's my Bye -bye. book? I don't know. You've pinched it, haven't you? No. It's yeah. down at that pink windmill and you've got it somewhere. No, I don't think right. so. Right. You come and stand here where we can see you. That's it. May we congratulate you for winning our game. It's a good game, good game, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yes? <laughs> now, we're going to give you a choice of some fabulous prizes. Croc, show him the cauldrons. And in one of the cauldrons, we have a booby prize. And in the other cauldron, we have a star prize. Right, now, what number cauldron would you like to pick? Right, now you've got cauldrons in numbers two and number five. Which one would you like? Number two, please. Number two. You've got to get number two. 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 Airfix. Here we are. Pardon? It's good it's fun, that. Lego London. That's and, nice and... Ooh, oh, like airplanes. We have this lovely, lovely emu spinner. We'll throw that in as well. Right. And... What? Oh! Oh, look at this. This is fantastic. Oh! Oh, we're being invaded. Will you stop playing with that? Oh, Put it down. Me. It's a frisbee. It's lovely. No, you can't have that. It's my play. Oh, that's thing. croc! And... Do you like blowing bubbles? Yes. Well, you won't have that then, right? Tank engine. You can have that. Don't play with it, Redford. I want to have a go. It's <laughs> good, baby. It's good. Thomas, the tank engine. And let's find us some. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Look what's found its way into the cauldron again. Yeah. The reluctant poet by Streaky Bonehead. Oh, that's some nice. Some beautiful poetry in there. Yes, there's some Ooh. nice poems in there. Yes, that. and, and I'll give you the bubbles. You can have all that instead of your cauldron. Now, what are you going to do? You can have the prizes. Come on, it's working. Cauldron. 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 Oh, by the way, 
Are you certain you haven't seen my book? Yes. And you haven't seen Sybil either, because Sybil's missing, you know? No. You've not seen her? No. What is it you wanted? The cauldron. The cauldron? Well, look, I'll have to offer you something else then. Let's have a look. Mm. She's very generous today, isn't she? Emu tape. Lovely. Grot Bags Moving Day. It's a wonderful tape. You can have that as well. What are you going to do now? Uh, cauldron. Pardon? Cauldron. 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 Are you absolutely certain? Yes. You want the cauldron? Yes. You know what you've won? Yes. You've won my star prize. <gasps> yes. You've won this beautiful, beautiful camera. Oh. And you'll be able to take photographs and you go, as you go out in your campfires and all that. And I think you're horrible. I really do. I think it's awful. There we are, take it. Take that. There's your book. Take your book. Hey, my book. Hey, listen, did you hear that? Old Bot Bag said that she's left her book of answers down here in the pink windmill somewhere. Well, if we can find it, we can, we can make this, this world all get better again because it's all drab and grey outside. So, everybody have a look round for the book. And you have a look for the book, quick, Evie, have a look for the book. Hey, kids, would you mind having a look for the book as well under your seats? Have a look. Okay, if you can find it. Can anybody see it? Yes. You got it? Who's got it? Oh, has somebody got it? Oh! Did you find it? Where, under my seat. It was under your seat. And what's your name? Dan. Dan. And you found the book of answers. That means we can we can undo that spell now, can't we? And make it all better. Thanks to Dan. Shall we give Dan a big cheer? Yeah! yeah. Hey, let's have a look quick. Let's have a look. Here it is. I know exactly what to do now. I know what to do. It's out here. Can't be a minute. I know what to do. It's this way. When all the world is drab and full of grey And all those good times seem so far away Just splash some colour all around and say Have yourself a Technicolor day A bright kaleidoscope of every hue Is shining out there waiting just for you A palette bright to make your dreams come true have yourself a Technicolor day What's the use of being so dreary Like a flower that's lost its perfume Fill yourself up with bright colours And paint yourself right out of that gloom So if the rain should fall from clouds of grey That rainbow's just the last few drops away you know it's shining there as if to say Have yourself a Technicolor day yourself a Technicolor day. Technicolor day. Now it's time for another game of Amy Spin Quiz. But where's Rod first? Rod, come on! Yeah. Isn't it good? We've done it, we've worked the spot and everybody's all happy and everything's bright and beautiful out there again now. And we've just got time to play another quick game of Emu Spin Quiz, haven't we? Let's have a look. Thank you, Emu. Very nice. And this one comes all the way from Kent, from Louise Griggs, I think it is, all right? And there's her phone number there. So would you like to phone her up, Tammy? 
And whilst you're phoning up, I'll just read what Louise has written. She said, Hi, I'm Louise from Kent, and this is the second time I've written to you. I've watched your show when it was on before, and I've always enjoyed it, and I've written a poem for... Oh, she's written a poem for us. Dear Rod and Emu, your show is so good, and if I could watch it every time, I would. Well, why, why can't you? Uh, there's King Boggle and his sister, and old grot bags too and to tell the truth there's a whole lot of fun for me and for you oh that's lovely thank you very much for that louise and let's hope that you're in and watching the show and then we can ask you a question and spin the wheel and perhaps you'll get some super prizes hello hello louise he's on the phone hello is that louise yes hello louise it's rod and emu we're calling you from the pink windmill you all right Yes, thank you. I just, just read your poem. <laughs> uh, well, we've got... A, oh, how old are you? Nine and three quarters, you said? Yes. Right. Have you got a special question yeah. for nine and three quarters? Who said, Grandma, what big eyes you've got? Who said, Grandma, what big eyes you've got? Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood, yes! Yeah! Yeah! Number nine. You've got number nine, Louise, so we'll have to see what number nine is. I hope Louise it's has won a teddy bear. You won a teddy bear! Yeah. Oh, what a lovely teddy bear with an emu t-shirt on as well. Now, don't, don't do that. Stop it. Stop it. You go send that over there. OK, Louise, that's going to be posted off to you from the Pink Windmill Post Office right now, OK? Thank you. Thank you for playing the game. Bye. 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 Wasn't that lovely? Yeah. Oh, it's all been nice. Well, it's all worked out. Grot Bags lost a spell book or answer book but we've found it and we've turned it all back again. So we're all back to normal and we should be all back to normal, we hope, again next week at the Pink Windmill. Don't forget, if you want to join in the Pink, Pink Windmill Spin Quiz, just send us a letter or a poem, just like Louise, or a picture or whatever you want to. If you want to be in the, in the, in the Twin Schools, then mark your envelopes, Twin Schools. And if you've got something really exciting to send to the post office, then do that too. So until next week, from all of us here at the Pink Windmill, we say ta-ra, see you then. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Well, that's it. Another month of Children's Eye TV gone. But another great month coming up starting on Monday when David Jensen will be here with you. At least I've got my pencil as a souvenir. Don't forget, Wide Awake and number 73 tomorrow. And I'll see you on Tuesday with Splash. Bye. <laughs>